Tomorrow marks one year since a Wall Street Journal reporter was jailed in Russia on accusations of spying. Evan Gerskovic was arrested for espionage charges while on assignment last year. The United States and the Wall Street Journal says he's been wrongfully imprisoned. Just this week, his detention was extended another three months. The call to free Gerskovic comes as we mark 10 years since another tragedy involving a journalist from New Hampshire. In 2014, James Foley was beheaded by terrorists. Now his mother, Diane, is the writer in the family, co-authoring a story that further transforms her from victim into advocate. It's a story Diane Foley of New Hampshire wishes she never had to tell. Her new book, American Mother, has been a bright light emanating from a dark time. Well, I hope it brings hope to people, but also warning that as Americans, we need to be intentional about safety when we travel abroad. Her son, James Foley, a freelance journalist, was captured in Syria, held for two years, then violently beheaded by ISIS. The book chronicles her family's trauma and her eventual confrontation with two of her son's killers in a Virginia courtroom. In the decades since her son's death, Diane has been a tireless advocate for bringing detained Americans home through the James Foley Foundation. The mission is challenging. We still have to work with some tough captors. We have to work with terrorists like Hamas, with governments like Russia, China, and Iran, who are seeking to target us and interfere with our foreign policy and economics and freedom of travel. So the challenges are great. She faces those challenges head on because although James didn't come home, she might be able to spare another family from similar pain. I have found that healing. To keep Jim's memory alive by trying to bring others home gives me joy and, and definitely healing. So far, Diane Foley's advocacy has helped bring home more than 100 nationals.